guys, I hope you're doing well. I apologize for my hair being up in a ponytail today. I just have a lot to do and it's like third day hair and normally I would curl my hair if I was filming a video. It's a little tight. Normally I would curl my hair if I was filming a video but I just did not have the time or the energy to do my hair today. So that's why I have a ponytail up. Um, I hope you guys don't mind too much. I know it's just hair but Anyways, so today's video is going to be a what I've been loving video. I haven't done one of these videos in a while, pretty much because the things that I've been loving, I've loved for a while, like my classic eyeshadow, and you guys know I love the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation. I haven't really tried any new foundations. So I haven't had too many things to, you know, go on and on and, like, praise. But I do have a box of things that I love, and also I've been obsessed with shoes. So I have two new pairs of shoes to show you that I think a lot of you will love. So I have my box here. There's a, quite a lot of stuff in it, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I mentioned, I think, on Twitter, I don't think I even vlogged about it because I wasn't vlogging for, like, five weeks, which flew by. It didn't even feel like five weeks. But I decided to try the Loving Tan. This is an old bottle, but this is just the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. My sister... Is this the new... I don't know, is this the new one? Because if it is, it's like very empty. Anyways, my sister and I decided to try the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Ultra Dark. Since I'm Greek, I tend to tan very, very quickly. I have kind of an olive skin tone. I get really dark really fast. As you guys have seen over past summers, I get really dark really fast regardless of if I use SPF, if I'm in the shade, I just tan, which I love because I like being tanned. I know I say tan weird because I'm from a different country than a lot of you. I know whenever I say a weird word like pasta or tanned, you got, some of you guys are really nice, You're like, oh, you say it's so cute, but then some of you guys are like, you say it's so weird, and it's like, well, it's just a different place, so you probably say it weird to me. But anyways, I got this Loving Tan. It ships from Australia. It is pretty expensive. I think with everything, when everything was said and done, it was close to $70, so I really hope that this is not the bottle that we just purchased, because I know my sister had tried it in the past, but I ordered one separately, and I got like a free exfoliating mitt. I really, really like the color of this um, self-tanner. It gets really, really dark, which I love. I know they also have like more subtle options, but for people who like to be pretty dark like I do, then this is a great, a great option. I still do love my Million Dollar Tan Mermaid Mousse Extreme. I feel like it's just the easiest to apply, and overall, I think that would be my favorite, but I do really like this Loving Tan because it is super dark, like immediately. And then once you sleep on it, it gets really, really dark. So I would recommend this, but another body product that I've been loving you guys know I was kind of obsessed with this in the beginning I think I was vlogging in like October or something but this is the Victoria's Secret hydrating body line I love the bottles I feel like it looks so pretty and so chic and like elegant and I really love the whole line I had the body wash for a very long time in my shower which is amazing I have the body oil which I love for the summertime it gives your legs the most beautiful glow but I've been loving this hydrating body lotion I know a lot of people like butters in the summer but but I just don't like the way, they just feel really heavy on my skin, like occasionally, especially if I'm in the sun a lot, I will use like a hydrating like body butter, but on an everyday basis, I do prefer a body lotion, it just sinks in quicker and doesn't feel as sticky, so this one is in the Shea, I, did, I decided not to get it in the coconut, I have a coconut milk oil, I have the coconut milk, I have the coconut milk body wash, um, and I have the Shea Oil as well, but for lotion, I just wanted something a little bit more subtle. I haven't been in Victoria's Secret in a while. I find Victoria's Secret so overpriced, and especially since I've been, like, obsessed with Dragon's Den and Shark's Tank, Shark Tank, uh, that would be, like, another current favorite, but I'm obsessed with those shows. And whenever I'm, like, my dream in life is to be able to say, and for that reason, I'm out. Like, it's... I became obsessed with that show because one of my best friends, Tristan, introduced me to it, and now I'm obsessed. And one, oh, this is sound, this is so stupid, but Jim from Dragons Den followed me on Twitter one day, and at first I was like, oh, I, I was excited because you know he followed me on Twitter, but at the same time I was like, he probably follows like 50,000 people because like when celebrities follow you and they follow like 49.7k other people and people get excited over that, I'm like, well, that's not really anything to get excited about. But when Jim followed me, he was only following 77 other people. And I was one, I would, he, and he followed me. So I was really excited about that because Jim is my favorite. But, um, yeah, I just feel like the valuation of Victoria's Secret products, like, especially their clothing is really high. Like, I'm not going to spend $60 on a goddamn sweater that was probably mass produced in Bangladesh when I could go spend $60 for a nice sweater at Aritzia. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. And I don't know. I just, I don't really like buying clothing from Victoria's Secret anymore. 
because it's just really expensive for no reason and it's not even that cute anymore in my opinion. The next body thing is my current favorite perfume and I am almost out of it. I can't believe it. I've had this since legit 2012. I got it the summer I graduated from high school in 2012. So this is old but it still smells amazing. I use this every summer religiously and I still have not even... I mean, I'm like three, a third, of, I'm like two thirds of the way done, so when Mike and I go on vacation in May, I'm thinking that at the duty free, I might need to pick up a bottle of this as well as a pair of Ray-Bans, but um, yeah, Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder, it is the best coconutty summer smelling perfume. It has been so beautiful here in Montreal lately. I whipped this out and I put it on it. That's what I smell like right now. It just makes me feel like it's summer and it smells so good and I can't imagine one person not liking this fragrance. And my last little body product is this Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Face Polish. I talked briefly about this in my Sephora VIB Rouge recommendations video, which I'm happy you guys really enjoyed because I had fun making it. But this is the best exfoliator for your face that I've ever tried. The beads are so finely milled that it just really gets off everything. It doesn't have a heavy scent. It just honestly like makes your skin look so smooth. I'm looking at my skin in a mirror over there. It just makes your skin look so smooth, really gets all those dead particles off, and it is just the best skin exfoliator I've ever tried and I've definitely noticed an improvement in my like skin texture. I had a big breakup because I just started my period which is exciting because I can use my diva cup again but um yeah I had a chin outbreak because of my period. I just feel like it helped get my skin back to normal. You guys heard me talk about this also in my Sephora VIB Rouge recommendations video. This is the Too Faced Proactive Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. I have used a lot of primers in my day and none have really impressed me like this one has. It's not a silicone based primer so it's very smooth on your face it's not sticky it almost feels like a moisturizer or not a serum but just like yeah like a moisturizer kind of so I really enjoy it for that aspect like I said in those spring summer months my skin does tend to air on the side of combination oily so it's nice to have this I almost use it in place as a moisturizer right before I do my makeup and I've been really loving it, it has coconut water probiotic based ingredients and skin revivers so I would recommend this one tooth skin things are by Laura Mercier and this is the oh, I've had this forever it came with a concealer and like a corrector and then in the bottom it has like translucent powder and then I also have a big version of the translucent powder and honestly I love this stuff it sets your makeup so beautifully and then I just take a damp beauty blender on top and I apply it all over my face like I just dab it all over my face and it makes your skin look so flawless and glowy and honestly just stunning. It's a little bit pricey and you're like, am I really paying that much for powder? But it's great. I am interested in trying that RCMA powder, but it's hard to get it in Canada. So when Sierra comes to visit me for my surgery, I'm going to like ship her. If she's flying, I guess I can't ship as much as I want to. But if she's driving, I'm going to like ship so much to her house so she can just bring me like all the stuff I want to try. So yeah, Sierra, that's the plan. I feel like I've talked about this a lot. I've used it in a lot of my recent tutorials. The Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder is great. They also have a loose brightening powder which my sister Tony has. I've used that as well and I do really like it. I just I feel like you can't go wrong because the quality of these powders are so amazing. The next thing is actually a funny story and this is a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow. Now I talked about this I think in my Sephora get ready with me. I didn't buy this at Sephora I actually bought it at Marshalls and typically I don't really buy things from Marshalls or TJ Maxx like makeup products because they've been open they've been swatched and it's just kind of unsanitary but when I bought this it was like see all around like as you can see the tag so I was like hmm, no one has ever like opened this and it looks like a nice brown color as you can see and it was only $9.99 so I was like I'm just gonna get it it's 10 bucks like what do I have to lose so because they put the goddamn tag on the back I had no idea what it was so I opened it and it seemed pretty big to be a bronze to be an eyeshadow so I started using it as like a contour powder and I loved it so I used it in my Sephora get ready with me and one of you guys was like I think it's the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in number five camel and the only thing that was identifying on this packaging was a number five so I looked it up and it was camel number five so she was like you should use it as an eyeshadow it's amazing so I've been using it as an eyeshadow I've been using it as a contour powder I love it this is one of my favorite eyeshadows you guys know that hard candy sandy beach is like my all-time favorite all over the lid color and I've been, I've been getting comments saying that you can't find this in the States. They are constantly restocking it in Canada. I don't know if it's just a Canadian item, unfortunately, but I've been loving these two together. So I love this as a contour powder. I love it as an eyeshadow. It's just great. They do sell it at Sephora, and I do think it's worth it. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is a blush. Now, I get so many questions from people asking why I don't wear blush, 
and everything like that. Uh, I feel like when I was younger, I kind of scarred myself. I started to think that my skin was like pretty red naturally, and so I just kind of like steered myself away from bronzers, uh, blushes, and I have so many MAC blushes. I got rid of a lot when I did my makeup clean out, but I had so many MAC blushes because I used to buy literally three blushes per MAC collection, never mind the whole, you know, permanent collection for MAC, because I used to buy a lot of makeup. If you guys have been longtime viewers of mine since I was like 13 years old, you know what I'm talking about. It was ridiculous. So I had so much blush and I never used it, and I just thought that blush wasn't really for me. And whenever I would do get ready with me, I'm looking at the mirror again, I'm looking at my blush. Whenever I would do get ready with me, people would be like, why don't you wear blush and I would always say because I don't like blush <laughs> so I started using blush recently and this is MAC peaches and I love it it gives me like a nice little glow on the cheek it's not too bright and it just kind of like amps up my face a little bit so I love peaches by MAC another MAC blush I love is Melba Melba is a really great blush I like neutral blushes so like Douceur by NARS is one of my favorite blushes Melba peaches I'd love to try melon melon blush by MAC but I think that's a pro product only so I'd love to try melon though because that looks right up my alley and now for the last face product this is the makeup forever mist and fix I actually haven't used it yet today if you watch my Sephora recommendations and wishlist video you know that I really didn't want to get a setting spray because I was kind of over my urban decay one it just feels so refreshing it doesn't really change the look of your makeup so I really like that aspect because I don't know, like if I don't like really dewy on me, I feel like it just looks sticky, so I like the fact that my makeup still looks the same after putting this on, and I do notice a difference in when I use this and when I don't on the longevity of my makeup. My last makeup product is by Bite Beauty, and the meringue lipstick is in my car, or in my purse, but I am obsessed with these Amuse Bush uh, lipsticks. They have a huge like line of colors. It's amazing. So if you like brights or darks or anything, they have one for you. The finish of this lipstick is incredible. So this is Honeycomb. I actually swatched this like I think like almost a week ago. Yeah, today's Tuesday, so I think I filmed that video Tuesday. But this is Honeycomb. It's a little bit more of a browny, peachy nude. Meringue is a little bit more of a pinky nude, and I prefer meringue. But the finish of these lipsticks is incredible. They are not shiny, but they're not matte. They just make your lips look bigger. They're so comfortable to wear. If they had more nude colors, I would be all over that, but I'm really happy to have these two in my collection. And my favorite lip liner of the moment is Laura Mercier Chestnut. I'm wearing it today with uh, the Rimmel London Kate Moss lipstick in number 42 and Flush Pot by MAC with Chestnut. It's amazing. This is like one of my all-time favorite lip liners. I'm so happy I finally got it. And my last beauty product of this month, month. We're not doing monthly favorites. Remember those? Uh, my last favorite of this video is this nail polish. I'm wearing it today and this is the Nails Ink Gel Effect effect gel effect in Mayfair Lane. It is just the most beautiful pinky nude color. It is in the same color I'd like to say as like Essie Fiji and those kind of colors but it's not as um, like white. It's a little bit more pinky and I like it because I'm so picky when it comes to pinks. I like some pinks, I don't like other pinks. I'm just very picky and weird. But this is like the most beautiful pinky nude and I'm gonna be doing a nail art with like an evil eye on the nail because my cousin Zoe uh, from Greece who has that jewelry store that's amazing, she posted a picture on Instagram so I'm gonna try and recreate the little look. I'm sure you guys will see it in a vlog. This has been my favorite nail polish and I haven't really worn any other nail polishes besides this. And I don't really like buying expensive nail polish but I had to get this color after I saw it. It's just beautiful. So I think that covers it for beauty. Now I'm going to talk briefly about my two favorite pairs of shoes. I have somehow developed a obsession with shoes. One night after dinner, Mike and I went to the mall and he wanted to go to Foot Locker to get a pair of all black Condors. And I went in not expecting to buy a thing. I had nothing on my list. And I ended up walking out with two pairs of shoes, which are my two current like shoe favorites. So the first pair I'm going to show you because I actually have them with me. This is a pair of Converse. And I don't know the exact color, but I will link it down below with like all that information. I got mine in a size 7. I have stood to get them in a size 6.5, but I didn't think. Um, I don't know how to do the cool tie-up that you guys do, like with Converse, but I am obsessed with this olive green color, and when I saw this olive green color in a pair of Converse, 
I knew I had to get them. I am obsessed. There's just nothing better than a pair of Converse to me. I love Converse. And typically I like to wear those slip-on Converse. If they had those in this color, I would have gotten I would have gotten it in this color. But they didn't. But yeah, the slip-on Converse are amazing because I don't know how you cool kids like tie your Converse, you know? I fun fact about me, I don't even know how to tie my shoes. Um, I do bunny ear still because I don't know how to tie it properly like an adult, so yeah, that's fun. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how you cool kids tie up your Converse and make them look all cool, but I don't mind looking like a little nerd um, <laughs> with them just tied up like this. But yeah, you guys need this. I know you guys like my style sometimes when I really love something. I'm like, you need it and you need these. I think they're just awesome. The last pair of shoes I have, I actually don't have with me right now, but they're a pair of Nike Roches, Roches, whatever. They're actually a kid's size. Uh, it was a funny story of how I decided I wanted them. Like I said, Mike and I went to Foot Locker and there were these, there was this like couple and they had a newborn baby and she was pushing the stroller and the dad was like dad goals, like he was wearing Yeezys and Mike and I both want a pair of Yeezys so there'll probably be a Yeezy purchase in my future but he was wearing Yeezys and she was wearing Burberry rain boots and like I was like, oh my god, that's going to be me when I'm a mom. But um, she was trying on the, this pair of shoes, which I'll insert a picture of now because I have one on my phone. I went up to the guy and I was like, okay, this is going to sound weird, but you see that like those shoes that that woman's trying on? Do you have them in like a size 7? And he was like, oh, those are actually like kids' shoes. So I was like, okay, well, I typically wear a size 7. Do you think that I could finish them? He's like, yeah, definitely. So he brought me out a pair um, in a size 5.5. I thought that the 6 youth fit better. Honestly, if you can fit into youth size shoes, that's that's the way to go because not only do they have different colors and less people will wear them like our age but they're also cheaper so it's a win-win and those shoes are so sick I get so many compliments on them and I just love the way they look so yes I will link them both down below uh, any other favorites um, I'm gonna get questions about my necklaces this is our crystal eye choker in rose gold I love this especially like with this green color and then this is the petite beaming lariat in this watch I get a lot of questions about it it's Michael Kors it, I don't believe they still make it but um, I will find I think you can find it on like Amazon or eBay so I will link it down below if I can so those are my current favorites I hope you enjoyed I know I haven't done one of these in a very long time and I'm just such a YouTube groove right now with vlogging and just I'm so happy to be back so thank you all so much for watching I hope you're having a great day or night depending on when you watch this as always links to everything will be listed in the down bar down below don't forget to comment and subscribe I love hearing from you guys and recognizing your username so don't forget forget to comment and subscribe to me if you haven't already. So I'm going to let you go now and I'll talk to you soon.